Hey guys, today I am doing just a simple, easy, everyday makeup tutorial for the spring. This is great for like school or brunch or you know, you wanna wear something really natural to prom or something like that or a spring wedding or just going to the grocery store and you need to put some makeup on because there's like that cute guy that you know is gonna be there. I know I had one of those. <laughs> Um, anyways, I'm gonna stop being weird now and get into the video. Make sure that you guys follow me on Instagram. I have that linked below along with my vlog channel and all of the products that I'm going to be using in this video. Without further ado, here is how I did my makeup today. My hair is a little crazy today, <laughs> not gonna lie. I'm starting out with a little bit of skincare just because I wanted to share that stuff with you before I get into the makeup because it is springtime. You wear a lot, I mean, I wear a little bit less makeup in the springtime. I'm starting out with this product by Chanel. It is the La Solution 10 de Chanel and it is a sensitive skin cream. They call it the Solution 10 because there's only 10 ingredients in this. So I'm just going to stick a little bit of that on my face before I start out. I'm also using this jasmine oil by Chanel as well, and how beautiful is this bottle? So I'm just using a few drops of that and pressing it onto my face. Sometimes with brands like Chanel, people can be a little bit afraid of the scents. They can be really heavy for certain brands, but this is really not heavy. The Solution 10 does not have a scent at all. so really good things for your skin if you are afraid of scent and this is a sunscreen that i actually have been using for the past like four or five years cortez i believe is how you pronounce this brand it is 100 percent free of chemical sunscreens preservatives and oils it's really really gentle and easy on your skin spf 40 i always get like the little teeny tiny dots on my forehead whenever i use sunscreens and i do not get that at all with this and it's kind of like this weird moussey texture i don't know if you guys can tell and i'm just going to spread some of this on my face i'm not using a foundation today so i'm just going to kind of color correct a couple of spots so i'm using the guerlain meteorite cc glow color correcting highlighter this is honestly like one of my favorite color correctors really really easy to use that little like clicky thing it's a good apricot color for lighter skin tones i'm using the glossier stretch concealer over that just to obviously get rid of the like apricotiness on my face Oh my god, though, I'm so happy that it is getting warmer because I feel like New York has been awful. It's not really like snowed or anything, it's just been frigid. And I went to Paris for like a week, and by a week, I mean like two and a half days. <laughs> and it was 80 degrees, and then I came back here and it was like in the 30s, and now it's finally starting to get warmer. I was really pushing it, I just want it to be warm so bad. I know some of you guys live in like much warmer climates, so I get comments sometimes, oh, it's already warm here, so I'm like, okay guys, whatever, whatever. Using Glacier's Wouter, over that. I don't know, man. Something about these like Glossier products, the powder and the concealer. I know that a lot of people swear by Glossier's boy brow, but I'm honestly not like a huge fan of that one. For my eyeshadow, I'm actually going to be using a highlighter. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt highlighter and I think I might have tagged the wrong color last time but I'm using the lightning dust fire crystal duo here and I am going into lightning dust using a fluffy brush and I'm just going to stick that on my lid and like up into my crease a little bit then going in to Tarte's bronzer I'm like not using any eyeshadows in my eyes right now I'm using the Park Ab princess waterproof bronzer and i'm just sticking some of this into my crease just to darken it up a little bit add a little bit of definition i'm just sliding the brush under my eye as well not really like putting a lot on curling my lashes with my kevin aquan lash curler using a smaller brush 
I am using the shimmery -er shade of the two Fenty shades. And I'm just sticking some of that like on the inner corner of my eye, pulling it out just a tiny bit like that. And then a little bit in the middle part of my lash line. And this kind of just like defines the shape of your eye a little bit, gives you a little bit of a natural highlight. For mascara, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes. I'm not trying to go too, too crazy with mascara right now, but I like this fluffy brush because it just like fans out my lashes. I'm using the Rouge Coco Lip Blush in 414 by Chanel, and this has actually replaced my Becca Beach Tint. As of recently, quite a bit, I've been using this almost every day, either this color or one of the darker colors. Uh, and I literally just like put a little bit on my cheek like that, blend it out, and it gives you this really easy, creamy, natural flush. I love the texture of these because it's not like too thick or sticky or anything. It just kind of like blends into your skin. I'm gonna stick a little bit of this on my lips as well. I've been a really big fan of keeping everything cohesive on my face. So like I use this highlighter as a highlighter and on my eyes, this on my lips and my cheeks. So I'm using the Hollywood Contour Wand by Charlotte Tilbury and this thing, I've used it for like the past week but it took me a good five minutes to figure out how to get the stuff out of it because I'm sitting here like squeezing, about to like explode the tube and it's just this little twist thing at the top to twist it open. For whatever reason, my eyes could not see the off and on thing on the bottle. You have to open it <laughs> before you squeeze it out. And then I typically will open it, squeeze it a little bit, not so like a ton of product comes out, but just so that the top gets wet. And then I close it again and draw little lines on my face where I want to add a little bit of shading. Using a flat brush, I'm just going to blend it out. Then using a fan brush, I'm going in with the shimmery of the two Fenty shades and just highlighting my face. I'm going to set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray just because, you know, it's starting to get a little bit warmer, starting to get a little sweatier, makeup comes off a little bit easier. So this is the finished look, just like a fast, easy makeup tutorial, good for beginners. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become part of the Clementine family. I have my vlog channel linked below, as well as all the products that I used in this video, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.